didn't do any coronavirus related vlogging yesterday at all. Uh, actually didn't even pay attention to the news at all yesterday. Uh, my wife and I got up in the morning. We headed out to Home Depot to go get a few things. Uh, we're doing some work around the house. We tend to do that a lot in the springtime. Uh, this spring we're working on a project in the kitchen where we are uh, repainting our cabinets because the cabinets paint on the cabinets that we have now has begun to chip and flake away and the cabinets were freshly painted when we first bought the house when we first moved in and they looked really nice uh, albeit a, a shade of green that neither one of us probably would have chosen but it wasn't as much of an eyesore to make us want to uh, change it up until now now that the paint's begun to chip and peel, uh, particularly where there's high contact with the uh, cabinets, uh, and there were a couple of uh, low fuel warning, and there were a couple of uh, spots or a couple of accidents from painting projects in the past where paint had splattered up onto the cabinets and. and no one saw it and it dried that way and removing it meant not only taking that paint off but taking the the green paint off the cabinets themselves big problem with the cabinets is the paint on the cabinets is regular latex paint designed for uh, drywall it's not designed for wood and the way they put it on is simply uh, putting it on on top of the current finish of the cabinets. So the paint was beginning to, anytime we put any kind of cleaner on the cabinets, the paint would just come right off. So we decided that when we repainted the cabinets that we would have to do it the right way and by paint that's designed for cabinets that will adhere to the cabinets much better, much much stronger. So, and that's what we did. But in order to do that, we've got to remove that latex paint off the cabinets. So that was yesterday's project, was to spend the day removing all of the paint off of the cabinets. And we got about 99.5% of the paint off. All of the cabinets, there's very little paint left. And what little bit is left is really stuck on there. So we're not concerned that it's gonna flake off in the future. Because we use chemical strippers and we use uh, a lot of sanding to try to get it off. And um, what little paint is left has survived both the chemical stripper and a mechanical stripper so we're not concerned with with the remaining paint and we're painting it a color so we're not trying to get back to bare wood and then refinish that we would have uh, quite a bit more work to do in order to get to that point but we did manage to get all the paint off and uh, we're ready for the next step and that is uh, getting cabinets getting them ready to be painted again um, because we use a lot of water to remove the paint and the paint stripper off the cabinets uh, we did finish sometime in the afternoon about four in the afternoon and we had to leave them uh, all the cabinets and the cabinet doors to sit overnight to let them thoroughly dry out so that's the next step in the process but On to work. Um, I was off yesterday, obviously. Um, I didn't turn on the news at all uh, during our cabinet project. Uh, didn't really turn on the news last night either when we got done the project. I sat down and, and fell into a rabbit hole of watching old 
University of Maine hockey uh, highlights. Well, actually, I watched a full, complete game, uh, the 93 National Championship game uh, that Maine won back when I was a student there. So that was kind of fun to watch a lot of old footage, bringing back some memories from my college days. So I purpose, purposefully avoided watching any kind of news. So um, I'm assuming nothing has really changed in terms of the coronavirus. Um, obviously more and more people have continued to get sick and die. Um, although I think the curve is beginning to bend down because um, people are beginning to go back to work and, and, and in some areas they're protesting to go back to work. So, uh, but today there's a, we're going in, I actually left the house at 5 o'clock, it'll be about 5.30 when I get there. And the reason I'm going in so early is today is the day that we move out of our freezer and put everything into a trailer truck. And that truck is supposed to get there supposedly this morning in order for us to move it out. And um, everything that I take out of our freezer has to be counted because we have inventory tomorrow. And once we put it in the truck, we're not going to have access to it count it so that's today's big project and I'm going in early to get that started so that I can uh, uh, spend the day getting that done and then hopefully um, get home at a reasonable hour so that's the reason we're going in so early I would have gone in earlier but our store has an alarm system that has to be armed from midnight to 5 a.m. Uh, no one can go in or out so um, and I didn't want to get there right at 5 so I'm going in at uh, 5 30 the store actually opens at 6 this morning because it's one of the days that we have what we call senior hour Well, the store opens an hour early for that so so anyway that's that um, oh and I'm continuing more testing because I haven't got, gone through any of the footage yet for um, our past videos uh, so I don't know how my my testing with map programs is going so I'm just gathering more data so I can do more testing that's what it is um, almost at work so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video uh, obviously it'll be daylight when I leave because if it's nighttime when I leave uh, that'll be like a 14 15 hour day so they certainly won't have me do that so we'll go ahead and end it and we'll pick it up on the other side and we'll see you this afternoon Alright, out of work, finally. Uh, it's about uh, 2.30 now. My car says it's 55 degrees. And the rain that has been falling this morning is finally cleared out. And it looks to be a nice day for the next day or two. So, I'm going home. I don't have to go into work till... 11 tomorrow morning. I'll probably go in a little early just in case. And uh, my inventory is half done. We have inventory tomorrow and it's halfway done because part of my inventory was to get our stuff out of our freezer and pack it in a tractor trailer truck so that they could work on the freezers. So now it's time to go home. I'm probably going to work on um, cabinetry, I guess. And I really need to get caught up on video editing. I'm way behind on that. A lot more protests going on from what it sounds like uh, concerning getting back to work. People are 
People are cabin fevered out. They don't want to be down. Well, really since the middle of March now, things have been shut down. So well over a month and people are losing their minds. So yeah, today we emptied our freezer into a trailer truck, counted it as we went. So now my freezer is counted. for inventory so all I got to do is count the sales floor tomorrow when I go in which is awesome we'll be out of the freezer for a couple of days and then we're back in Wednesday afternoon and we start moving it back into the freezer and we're actually switching freezers at the store with another department so we'll move into our new space they'll move into their new space store wasn't too too busy we had spurts we had a spurt early in the morning it's been raining all day so that's probably a big part of it uh, it should be uh, busier tonight once the weather gets better but oh on a personal note speaking of weather gets better we're gonna do some grilling tonight I have never had aged steak before so I have bought some aged ribeyes and I bought some regular ribeyes, both the same grade and the same kind of ribeyes. And we're gonna grill them both. I bought two of each, holy cow, that guy's right behind the other guy. I uh, bought two of each, we're gonna try some aged, we're gonna try some regular and we're gonna taste see which ones are better one of them's twice the price of the other one so we're gonna see if in fact aged beef is that much better than not aged little experiment other than that it should be a pretty quiet night at the house the house is torn apart right now. I need to get caught up on editing. I haven't put out a video since Saturday. Here it is Monday. And we're many, many days behind at this point. I don't know how these daily vloggers do it, to be honest with you. Well, for one, a lot of these daily vloggers don't have uh, daytime jobs that they have to go to like I do. So that's a big part of it. So yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on right now. We've got to work tomorrow, eight hours. And then Wednesday, I think I'm back on my four day work week. So it'll be 10 hours Wednesday and then I should be off Thursday. So that's pretty much the work week in a, in a nutshell. So with that, I'll go ahead and end this portion of the vlog. And I'll probably add on a little bit later i don't know if we're going to do a dog walk it's been a couple of days since she's had one so she's definitely due uh, may also insert some footage from uh, our refinishing of our cabinets i don't know whatever i insert at the end of this video enjoy it because as i record this i don't know what's going to happen tonight so with that we're going to get it end it and we'll see you either in the next one or later on in this one. They do kind of look green in this light, but they're definitely gray. Love